Clayton Davis ruins Meg's Hollywood goal by refusing $2 million in bribes to praise Sussex's Netflix documentary and Emmy Awards. The 75th Primetime Emmy Awards will honor the best in American primetime television programming from June 1st until May 31st as chosen by the Academy of Television Arts and Sciences. The ceremony will be held on September 18th, 2023 and will broadcast to the U.S. on Fox with the Creative Arts Emmys to be presented on September 9th. Megan made an effort to get in touch with Clayton Davis, the Senior Awards Editor of Variety, a storied 117-year-old Hollywood industry trade journal, after learning that most royal dramas, like The Crown, had honorable Emmy Award nominations. In particular, Megan approached David in private through WMNE and made $2 million in an offer in exchange for him nominating the Sussex's Netflix documentary for an Emmy in her honor. The reason is that Megan is certain her goods are deserving of a significant international prize. I mean, of course, they are Megan. Megan naturally felt irritated and embarrassed so she hung up on the phone when Davis completely disregarded her previously. Variety is up to Clayton Davis to Senior Awards Editor. In his new role, Davis will continue to handicap the Oscars and Emmys as a definitive journalist covering award season, offering weekly predictions of the top contenders, interviews, and analysis. He'll also co-host the weekly podcast series Variety Awards Circuit, with Michael Schneider. Davis joined Variety in September 2020 as film awards editor from his self-owned awards circuit website, where he served as editor-in-chief at Variety. He's covered all things related to Academy Awards and other awards show ceremonies, including breaking news and penning cover stories on Denzel Washington and Spike Lee. Along with his writing duties, Davis serves as a co-host of Variety's weekly video news series, The Take. Davis has also made multiple TV appearances talking about the Oscars, including last year's ABC News Oscars Countdown Live, that pressure for the Academy Awards ceremony. He will be returning as a contributor for the 94th Oscars pre-show this year. As for The Crown, Season 6 has been slated for a full 2023 release. Chief Content Officer Bella Bejara announced that Netflix's virtual upfront presentation Wednesday would commence. The sixth installment of the historical drama will turn its attention to the royal love story between Prince William and Kate Middleton, chronicling the pair's fateful meeting on St. Andrew's campus and the subsequent romance that followed as the crown closes out its sweeping timeline of Queen Elizabeth's reign. Season 6 is set in the 2000s as William begins his time at university, determines to have a normal life when he meets Kate, who hails from Berkshire. Scenes from the upcoming season of the drama series remain true to real life, with productions filming at Street Andrews coming from a theater background, the Old Vic and Hammersmith Riverside Studios. McVeigh will make his professional screen debut alongside Bellamy who was elected for the role of Kate after submitting an audition tape for a casting call on social media. In addition to McVeigh and Bellamy, the final season of The Crown is rounded up by cast members Luther Ford as Prince Harry. And now the Staunton is Queen Elizabeth. Jonathan Price is Prince Philip. Leslie Manville is Princess Margaret. Dominic Delview is Prince Charles. Elizabeth Fickey as Princess Diana. Claudia Harrison as Princess Anne, and Olivia Williams as Camilla Parker Bowles. The Crown is amongst the upcoming titles Netflix touted during its upfront presentation, with newly anticipated releases including Sofia Vergara's Griselda, Shal Levis, All the Light We Cannot See, and many more.